Who are our On Cue students this week? Let's take a look. Lost your way, lost your cool, then you straight up lost your mind. Tried so hard to stay ahead, but you keep falling behind. Life is gonna pull you down, make it hard to see. But a little change in your point of view could be just what you need. There's always a reason to always choose joy. There's something deeper that the world can't destroy. Smile when you think you can't smile. Get up and dance, smile. The twilight zone and I always feel like somebody's watching me. The week is audience. When we're reading a story or an article, we think about who the author's audience is. Who did the author intend to read that piece of writing? Hmm. If this was my audience, who would it be? Oh, maybe her? Hello? Ma'am? Ma'am? Hmm. I don't think she wants to be my audience. This week, with everything you read, think about who the author's audience is. Every week we talk about our social emotional goals and or our behavior matrix. Let's talk about our behavior matrix this week. All of our classes have been reviewing the Quincy Elementary Behavior Expectations Matrix. As you see here, our goals are that in every area of the school, we are respectful, we're responsible and we're safe. We talk about what does being on cue look like in every area of the school. Today in particular, let's talk about being on cue in the classroom. It would be having a voice level of zero to three, depending on teacher directions. And We'll, we show respect by respecting learners and their space. We encourage others. We keep a safe distance between each other and we contribute respectfully. To be responsible, we do our best. We follow directions. We ask for help and we keep materials and belongings neat and organized. And to be safe, we have walking feet. We keep our hands and of course our feet and other body parts to ourselves. We wear our masks over our mouth and nose, and we wash and sanitize our hands at snack, lunch, and after recess. So for this week, your class can discuss which one of these on cue expectations would be a good focus for your class. Where do you need a little bit of work in order to be on cue in the classroom? It's the Quincy Mystery Staff Member. Quincy Mystery Staff Member. Who could it be? Hello, Mystery Staff Member. I have some questions for you. My first question is, what is your favorite picture book? My favorite picture book is Pete the Cat. <laughs> Do you want to show us? <laughs> Ooh, do you like that one in particular? Rocking my school shoes? I do. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out who you are. I don't know if I can tell a little bit by the hair. Um, you have beautiful hair. Thank you. My next question is, what is your 
favorite thing to do on Saturday afternoon? On Saturday afternoon, I love to go out into the nature, either by bike or running or hiking. Oh, okay. That's a healthy way to spend a Saturday afternoon. I hope many of our students spend it the same way. Okay, final question. What is your favorite or what do you love about Quincy? I love that um, everyone always feels loved here. Aww. Even when you do things that might be challenging others you still feel loved and you just feel loved for who you are on any given day oh I kind of feel like I know who this is and I feel like you're a big reason why students feel loved at Quincy ironically there's a sign right above your head that says you are loved um mystery staff member do you want to turn around and reveal yourself uh okay Um, <laughs> it is you! It's Mrs. Bramer! You help us feel loved every day. Thank you, Mrs. Bramer. Love you guys. That the world can't destroy. Smile when you think you can't smile. Get up and dance, smile. There's a bigger plan, the storm only lasts for a while. So Oh. <laughs> Look, Gerald's on the roof. <laughs> Gerald. What is Gerald? A goose. A goose. He, that's the second time. Disclaimer. Yes. I have a cut on my knee. I can fix that. Quincy Magic Band Aids fix everything. There you go. You're welcome. Mrs. Wilkos? Yes. My teacher wants some copies of this. I can fix that. Quincy Magic Band Aids fix everything. Okay. Bye. Have a good day. The magic can be yours for the low price of. From now on, our on cue ticket winners get a Quincy Magic Band Aid. The best week ever, Quincy. At this time, would you please stand, push in your chair, put your right hand on your heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance.